Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a little collection video. I'm super excited, and let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos in the future where I just show you everything I have of a certain category, but today will be liquid lipsticks. I'm going to show you all of my liquid lipsticks and like lipsticks in that type of um, formula, and so this isn't lip gloss or lip like bullet lipsticks like um you know like a bullet lip lipstick it's not like that it's going to be um all my liquid lipsticks and i'm going to swatch them on my hand which will be interesting um and i don't think this will be a declutter i did i you know go through my collection pretty um regularly and um i have empties and declutter videos every so often so you can definitely look back through my empties videos because I would always include things I'm decluttering there so I don't think this is really going to be a decluttering type of video but I'm just going to go through swatch some of my uh li all of my liquid lipsticks and talk about them and compare them and just have fun with it so I hope you guys enjoy and before we get started I did want to mention what is on my eyes today I'll tell you what lip I'm wearing later but um, today I did more of a neutral, smokyish look. Not always my normal, but I knew I wanted to do more of a somewhat bold lip. Not really, but you know. So I paired it with my Faltry palette, which is in my Shop My Stash for February. So here is, I today I'm wearing Twig, Dystopian, um, Cinder and ember so kind of like a slightly green shade in there as well which kind of threw it for a loop so i enjoy that love the sultry palette but let's get into it um awesome so this doesn't really fit but this is the chart the lip architect little lipstick and lip liner i'm just gonna go for it because this is basically all the things that are in my um i have this little antique cigar box I'll show you once all the products are out of it how about that um, and this antique cigar box I got at an antique store that um, they kind of, the person kind of like flipped it or you know decorated it and so it's really cute and I have all my liquid lipstick products in this cigar box and that's where I store them so I thought it'd be fun to go through everything in there but yeah, this is the Lip Architect Lipstick and Lip Liner in Delightful. And so let's swatch it here. I only remember using this once, <laughs> which is kind of bad. This is a really pretty like mauve red, almost with like some red in there. Really pretty. I remember using this, so this must be the lip, yeah, this is the lipstick side. I remember using this for, if you follow my Instagram, Shake Up Makeup Shan, I remember using this for um, the clown look I did. I remember the caption was like pretty clownish and I used this lipstick for that look. I don't know why I thought it was a good clown color, I guess. No, it's, it's like a pinky red almost. And the I like how it has the lip liner and the lipstick all in one product that's like the exact same shade almost maybe slightly darker of that so it's nice to like I don't know you can just easily line your lips and then use the lipstick after so I really enjoy this product I love the little kisses on it super duper cute detail it's on both ends and the shade is really pretty I think this was a gift a long time ago and I really need to use it more because I think it's a really pretty shade and a cool little product. So that's kind of a weird one. I have another one that's not a weird one but not necessarily a liquid lipstick. I have another one like that from Clarins and it is the Velvet Lip Perfector. And this I got in a boxy charm. And it's in this little like tubey thing. And what is the shade name? Do we know the shade name? It says zero two, but I'm not seeing the shade name. And it's in this like almost spongy like tube. And I feel like, or like a spongy applicator. I feel like a lot of 
lip products used to be like this but i don't know if i have too many like this anymore i think i'm thinking of those two faced melted mattes i think no 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 not the melted matte there was a two faced one in this container i don't know if you remember whoa i took out too much but here we are yeah i'm just gonna give you a big swatch of this one it's like a very bright pink. I think it's a little too bright, um, you know, for me, everyday type of wear. But I like, um, I remember liking the formula of this. I have tried this shade out. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's almost like moussey texture. Like it's very hydrating on the lips and... Um, it's an interesting product. I have like, it, I don't know. I don't like the squeezy tube though. Cause like too much came out and now I'm wiping it. I don't know. Interesting, interesting product. But um, this was the BoxyCharm one. Next we have an Ipsy, I believe. The, something I got from Ipsy, the Context Liquid Lacquer. And it is in Mad Love. And I, I believe I've tried this a couple times. I like to smell it. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> um, but let's, yeah, this one is the one that's super thick. Like, I don't know if I like a liquid lipstick that feels that thick. You can tell this is like more of a sheer moussey formula where this is just like super thick and almost glossy. But I don't remember it drying down much at all. I think it's stays pretty glossy like that but I absolutely love this shade like the color I think it's a really pretty like nudie pink and I, those are the type of colors I like the applicator is kind of interesting here too it's kind of like a flat I don't know it's not it's kind of dense that's what it is dense <laughs> but um yeah I do enjoy this shade and I definitely I want to go, I think part of me doing this video is good because I will remind myself to use these shades more, but look at that. I love this now that I have my new camera too because you can actually see what I'm swatching and hopefully it's helpful. This is the Queen Little Liquid Lipstick in Wifey and I do enjoy this one. This is BoxyCharm as well. Let's see. This is more of a like plummy, um, plummy pink. There it is there. This one definitely dries down. And what I love about liquid lipsticks, um, not that these two were really liquid lipsticks and this one's not so much a great liquid lipstick example, but this one here, this queen one is a good example because it dries down and I love that you don't have to worry. It's just there and it'll probably not budge for a lot of hours and that's what I love about liquid lipsticks. I feel like they are going out of style. A lot of people enjoy glossy lip oils or lip balms, more glossy formulas, but I think it's still really awesome and I was reading my history book, uh, my his history of makeup type of book, Classic Beauty, and it talks about how like new liquid lipsticks are. I think, you know, early 2000s or even 2010 is where, maybe now, early 2000s is where liquid lipsticks kind of took off. And I feel like they're still relatively new. I think back in the day they tried to make them long lasting, but they didn't really know how. So it's kind of a newer thing in the grand scheme of, of the history of makeup. Um, so I think that's really cool. But yeah, I love this shade. Very different from the other ones. It's more plummy. Um, and that's, these are exactly the examples of when people say you have too many products. Like, yes, I do, but they're different. A lot of them, so far, they all have been different. This is also very different. This is the Ciate London Glitter Flip in Valentine. I don't even know if this is still good. It's been a little while since I've used this one. But um, this was a gift from my college friend, Calliope. And she was getting her own glitter flip shade. And it was like, buy, buy one, get one free. And so she offered me one, which was so sweet. 
and this one is really gorgeous so what happens is you're supposed to put it on your lips and then like pucker your lips and um, glitter appears I don't know how I can really show that in the swatch I'll try to like hit it right now it looks kind of like a matte really bright pink which is a really pretty shade but I think this was a really cool I don't know, different type of formula. So I was happy to add it into my collection to try it out. And it does work. It does give you some glitter. But let's, let's like pat it and see if it, if it gives some glitter. Ooh. Oh, it definitely does. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's like not picking up on camera. I made a mess of the swatch, but... It definitely kind of gave me some glitter aspect to it, which is not always the look I'm going for. I don't always do a glittery lip, but um, but hey, I think that's such a cool product and <laughs> looks crazy. Let me clean up the swatch so that doesn't like bother me later. But a very cool product and you can't really tell, but it is very glittery when you kind of like you're supposed to like go like this with your lips and it when I was kind of patting it with my hand it did create some glitter in there um, next we have a Thrive Cosmetics liquid lipstick which this is no longer available it's a discontinued product but it was their matte like Le legacy liquid lipstick in the shade Dale and I'm gonna swatch it here because I own it but just know you can't I like don't know how to swat. You can't res you can't get it anymore, but look at how pretty that shade is. It's like a really deep mauve, I would describe it as. Almost like a deep rose mauve. Yeah, really, really pretty. I actually wore this in a video or in an Instagram post uh, recently, and yeah, it's Definitely dries down really nice, stays really well. Um, I wish, kind of wish it was still available, but maybe they'll come out with another type of formula like that because it was really nice. Next, we have the Laritzi um, liquid lipstick in Tidal. I think I got this from an Ipsy a while back. Let's see. Ooh, it looks very similar actually. Let's see. It's this one right here. I would say Dale is slightly darker, but this looks kind of similar to the Queen one somewhat. It's kind of like a plummy, yeah, right? Plummy. This is, this the Queen one is, the Queen one in Wifey is a little more plum pink, whereas this one's more plum red. This one's more like deep mauvey plum, but really pretty. I need to break this one out again. I did use this a little bit back in the day but haven't reached for it too often lately but yeah what are your favorite lip colors lipsticks tell me everything because i would love to know and i think these are they're just fun to, to try out look or look at them um this one colored rain i was so excited to get this in an ipsy a few years or a couple years ago probably this is the colored rain 24 7 um that's the name of the shade is 24 7 but i'm assuming it's their liquid lipstick formula and this is another really pretty this is like a me type of shade it's more of a nudie pink yeah definitely more of a pink this one's a little more plummy um really pretty see i feel like they're all different still like i don't think there's any dupes or anything here but i was excited because this is my only product from colored rain i believe i gotta try more from them but yeah this is such a pretty shade i think this is like my probably my favorite of the ones we've shot swatched so far this one's really pretty too but it's just kind of a weird glossy formula like i like it like i'm gonna keep it but I think as a liquid lipstick, this one is the winner so far. But I enjoy them all. I think they're really fun to have. So I have options when I'm looking for a liquid lipstick. This one is slightly 
liquid lipstick but not so much this is the ultra satin lip from ColourPop in the shade stud and i don't believe this formula is available anymore correct me if i'm wrong but i think they kind of did oh my god they kind of did away with this formula this is a lot darker than i expected it is more of a satin formula but it's kind of similar where it's it feels like it'll dry down. I haven't worn this one much, but it's very similar. Oh, I should have left them the way I swatched them. It's very similar to this one, but now I can't remember which one this one was. This one, I think, was the... La no. No, it wasn't the Queen. Oh, this one's the Thrive Cosmetics one. So it's similar to Dale. So hey, that's a good, um, that's a good recommendation because the Thrive Cosmetics one isn't available anymore. Oh wait, this one might not be available anymore either. Darn it. But pretty shade again, not my go-to, but they did send this to me, I believe, as a gift because I ordered something and it was late or something like that. So they sent me this one. Um, and I'm glad I have it. I feel like it's really fun to have. It's just cool having products or shades that don't exist anymore. I just enjoy like having it if I need it. I don't know. It sounds silly, but love that. Um, I feel like it's just maybe not my favorite shade, but I know a lot of people enjoyed that formula. Next, I have the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Sepia, and I know a lot of people don't like this formula. It's very drying on the lips, and I would agree. Um, I do like the color, though. I got this at TJ Maxx a while back, and it's so, like, cool-toned, and I feel like I don't have much like this one. You know what I mean? It's very cool-toned purple-esque, and I really enjoy it, but it is a drying formula. I don't know if I would... I definitely would say this isn't my favorite formula of liquid lipstick, but it is the only Anastasia one I have, and it's also just a cool color, so I'm going to hang on to it, but it's it's definitely kind of drying <laughs> on the lips, but I do think it stays pretty well. There is Sepia. Then we have three from Half Caked, and these are boxy charms. Then um, I'll just go ahead and go through. This is my favorite from this of the three is half caked um theme song i used to wear this you know somewhat often <laughs> but yeah just that pretty like pinky mauve type of tone and it's kind of similar to let's see the context one kind of a glossy finish yeah it's kind of similar to that co uh, context liquid lacquer but love that type of shade and these smell so good they smell like birthday cake or something i know it's called half caked so that must be why but really enjoy that then we have low key which is a little more of a bright pink and i like the applicator is kind of curved let's oh my gosh let's swatch this this is like a plummy no like a mauvey red almost slightly red there is that, or very red almost. It's kind of similar to the Clarins one. Yeah, that's more of a bright red than you would think. I don't remember ever wearing that one. <laughs> and then we have a real true red in 82 for, for docs. I probably said that wrong. Let's swatch this. Oh my goodness. Look at me swatching terrible. <laughs> This is fun though, I enjoy it. So that is like more of a true red, but it's nice to have these around because I used to have one that I threw out from the bomb and it was just, it got so dried up and I had it for years and years and years, but it was a really nice liquid lipstick that was red and I feel like you need that in your collection because if you have, you know, Christmas, anything, an event where you want a red but you want it to stay you don't want to have to worry because especially reds are hard to um i don't know i feel like i'm more self-conscious when i'm wearing a red i'm like it better not get anywhere so it's good to have it is good to have this is a really nice formula i love this shade and this formula this is the il maquillage um 
Matte Gala Infinity Long Wear Matte Lip Cream. So this is a lip cream, but it's a matte lip cream. So it's kind of, it does dry down, I would say. But let's, so watch this. This is such a gorgeous shade. This is like an everyday shade for me, I would say. Let's see, so I'm trying to stretch it so you can see it in Matte Gala. And the packaging is really pretty too. This is one of my absolute favorites. It is kind of different from all the other ones, similar to the Context Liquid Lacquer and kind of similar to this um, theme song, Half Caked, but really pretty. It's just such a nice everyday pinky nude and really great formula. It dries out down pretty good, but it's comfortable. You know, um, really enjoy this one. This is one of my favorites. Then we have, let's keep it going, I have some Sephora lip stains and they are like these little mini ones. Sephora is not cruelty free and so I don't buy from them anymore but I have these so we'll swatch them but they could be going bad so let's see. I have this wine colored one. Oh that's nice. Look at that. That's like blood like dark scary red I don't know like a black red see like I don't have shades like that so I keep it around I probably will never reach for this shade but I'm gonna keep it <laughs> oh my gosh this is a longer video than I expected I apologize this one I used to love this is pink tea and I, I don't remember the names of the other ones they don't even have them on here but I remember this one and it says they're the cream lip stains. And I actually went to put this one on for this video and like it hardly showed up at all, which makes me think that I used up a good amount of it because it's so small or it dried up. So let's swatch. See how pretty it was? It's like, it was like this baby pink nude, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's not even swatching at all. It used to be way more pigmented and I went to put it on and I couldn't. So yeah, that's sad because this shade was really gorgeous. And I don't always love nude, like super nude lips, but it was gorgeous. This one's more of a fuchsia. It's like a bright fuchsia. Let's see how this one's going. Yeah, the other ones seem good still. This is a super bright fuchsia, different than anything else. I would say super pretty. I wish they had the shade names here. So, so far we got one <laughs> we're getting rid of. And then this one is a red of it. Let's put it right here. Super pretty. This is more of a bright red than I feel like these other ones. Definitely different than all the other ones. So those are those. I'm going to keep the three minis here and then the pink tea one. I think I honestly might have used up because I used it a lot back in the day. Next we have Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are probably my favorite. I would say these and the Il Maquillage are my favorite liquid lipstick formula. And today I am wearing... Nope, okay, I'm not wearing this one, but let's start with it. This is Pumpkin Spice and they smell. a lot of these smell really good. Smells like pumpkin spice. Um, let's go here. These are super long wearing and I can trust them when I put them on. Super gorgeous. What is this even similar to? Kind of not similar to any of them. It's like a pink with like a slight orangey undertone. Like that one i have cinnamon bear so this came in a mini these are all minis that i've had and this came in a mini um liquid lipstick set so here we go oh that's a pretty see that's like such a nice staple red if i need it and i need it to stay i used to wear this for christmas sometimes i don't think i did this year no i didn't but similar to the other red the half caked one and the Sephora, now it's not similar to the Sephora. That one's too bright to be similar. But yeah, similar to the half caked one, but this is definitely a trustworthy formula. It'll stay on for you. This is the one I'm wearing today. It is buttered, hot buttered rum. This one smells really good as well. 
Oh, it smells so good. This is the one I'm wearing today, and it's just a really pretty, like, almost, it has like a terracotta-ness to it a little bit, but mostly a pinky nude with, yeah. There it is right there. Kind of similar to some of the shades, but also different. I feel like this one is super different and gorgeous. This is Sugar Cookie. This reminds me slightly of the what the pink tea of Sephora would have been um, if I still had some juice left in it. Oh, that is pink. No, sorry. Sugar Cookie. Oh my gosh. Again, it smells good, but it's like that super light nude type of color. Yeah, I don't think we have anything like that. This I almost feel a little self-conscious wearing because it's super light and kind of on my skin tone, but it's really pretty and I'm glad to have it. And lastly is my favorite, I would say my favorite liquid lipstick um, of all time is the Melted Matte Too Faced Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in Sellout. This was from a palette that I either bought or someone got it for me. I'll put it in between these two. But this one is so gorgeous. It's like my everyday pink nude. Love it so much. And I actually wore this on Valentine's Day. My boyfriend and I went out to eat and I wanted something that I knew would stay and it would be pretty. And so I reached for this. I had to actually grab this out of my purse for this video. So that is my favorite liquid lipstick. Um, it's just so pretty. I really enjoy it. Yeah, I got it from a palette a long, long way back. And like it was a free gift with palette. And yeah, I wonder if they sell this shade because I would actually buy it because I feel like once I run out of this, I'll be sad. <laughs> it's a really pretty shade. We have the four more. I have the Lottie London Slay All Day little mini. I'm thinking this was Ipsy. Um, and this is in So Good is the name. I love the names sometimes. Um, let's see. I haven't been comparing. I guess this one. What was this one? It was after the half cake. Oh, this was... What was this? Oh, this was Il Maquillage. I was just going to say Sellout from Too Faced. Look at how like matte they're getting. They're going to get matte. They look glossy and they're comfortable. Like right now... This dried down, but it's still comfortable. Um, I was gonna say sellout reminds me of the Il Maquillage one, which is funny because those are both my favorites. So that is, you can tell I have a preference. This is similar as well, a little more pinky. Yeah, maybe it's too pinky for me to be like a favorite, but yeah, that's the Lottie London so good it's still a really pretty shade i should wear this one more often it is a cute shade kind of pinky tone and then lastly or no i'm sorry almost lastly we have three more the tartiste glossy lip paint this is a little different but it's kind of a lip stain they call it a lip paint so i will show you it and i don't know if i have the shade name no, I don't, but here we go. Do it right here. Yeah, this is definitely more glossy than the others, but it's a nice, like, deep red going on here. And I, maybe I used this with the lip architect for that one clown look. That's so funny. I'm remembering some of these. You know, sometimes you just reach for them for lip products when you need them for a specific look or random things like that. And then these are two lip oils, but I'm gonna include them in here cause they are, I keep them in this little container here. So I have, these are amazing. I love this formula. This is the Lila B Tinted Lip Oil. Love these. And here is B Remarkable. Remarkable, it's like a plum type of shade. Oh, see, like that's pigmented, but it's it's a lip oil, so it's a little different in formula. It's not gonna dry down really. It'll keep that glossy look, but it gives you a lot of color. It's kind of hard to show on camera because it's um, shiny. 
But yeah, that's more of a plum mauve type of color. And then this is Be Elegant, and this is my favorite. I wear this one. I've got I've gone for this one few like many times. This is more of that pinky nude shade, and it's just gorgeous. I love this shade a lot. Um, I have worn this a lot. And it looks, let's see what it looks similar to. It looks similar to the Context. Mm, it's a little more nude than the Too Faced. Let me see. It's hard to look. Similar. Similar to the Hot Butter Rum almost, but like, I don't know, different. And similar, very similar to the El Maquillage um, Matte Gala. Awesome. So these are it. Let me show you all of the swatches oh my gosh they're kind of all over the place but which one of all these was your favorite or which lipstick liquid lipstick formula do you enjoy um yeah i would say overall my favorites are the uh il maquillage and the Too faced specifically in these shades but really fun to go through all these this is the container that i keep them in it is a little old little old, um cigar box and it has these two uh old hollywood looking people on it here and it says the award goes to and it has this little like knob here that she put on it glitz and glamour born to be a star and it has a little legs sorry it's raining pretty hard right now but um yeah so this is what i keep my liquid lipsticks in and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of long longer than i thought and kind of crazy but i wanted to go through each one and show you guys but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a great rest of your day talk to you later bye